My name is uh, Wim de Witte and I'm the program director of the festival. So I'm responsible for the film programming, but also the music program, which is very important in our festival. So the festival started uh, in uh, 1974. It was an initi initiative by um, uh, a Dutch uh, cinema owner here, but who had a cinema here in Ghent, Bent Ralst. He, um, and I think he took the idea from the Rotterdam Film Festival, which started uh, two or three years uh, before that. Um, and uh, the idea was to bring non-distributed films uh, to Ghent and to show them here in a festival context. Um, that was how it started. It started very small scale, only 20 films. But uh, throughout the years, we've been uh, adding films and um, and adding events, and and so the festival grew and grew, and it uh, it professionalized. I think in the beginning of the 80s, um, and then um, uh, at one point we we were looking how to set us apart from the other film festivals that were around in um, in the world. And um, there was a, a few mu music projects that we did. One was um, uh, a screening of a Russian film, uh, New Babylon, with music by Shostakovich. And that was really the, the, the starting point of the idea, why not, why not focus on, on, uh, on music and invite uh, composers, film music composers. And one of the first composers who came to Ghent was Georges Delru, a very famous composer who worked with François Truffaut, amongst others. Um, uh, but later on also Ennio Morricone. And then in 2000 we had a concert with Hans Zimmer, it was his first, first ever concert he did, with a big orchestra, with a choir, with, an, with a pop, orchestra, pop uh, band also added to it. Lisa Gerrard from That Can Dance was there. Uh, it was an amazing concert. And that was the, the starting point of, there were a lot of uh, people in the entourage of uh, Hans Zimmer who came to Ghent, uh, agents, publicists and stuff like that. Um, and um, there the idea grew to start an academy, a World Soundtrack Academy. And um, to to have each year, uh, to have this Academy vote each year for um, best film music composers, best composer of television, best song and, 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 and awards like that. So it's composers giving awards to other composers. And um, in 2001, it was the first edition already of this uh, World Soundtrack Awards ceremony and concert. It's both an award ceremony, but also uh, concert with symphonic uh, live performed uh, music of the uh, composers who attend this evening. And so this year we'll have the 23rd edition of this World Soundtrack Awards ceremony with, amongst others, the um, composers Nicola Piovani and Lawrence Rosenthal and the Japanese composer Aiko Ishibashi. Of course, film is still the, the, the primary focus of the festival, but music is really a big, big, big part of this festival. Of course, the festival itself, we, we tried again to, 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 um, to uh, curate a program um, which, is, which is very comparable to the other years, the previous years. Uh, we curate a program of the best, uh, f f best films that we've seen uh, throughout the year. But apart from that, there are a few um, additional things. Um, there's a lot of parties this year, of course, um, but also... Really, I just uh, went to one. <laughs> you should tell me about the other part. There's another one at the very end of the festival which is fo which is themed uh, uh, Twin Peaks uh, themed um, there was a, a party uh, for the Belgian professionals there was the opening night which is also kind of like a party so um uh, and then there are a few other concert linked parties in uh, in the Art Centre Voret here in the city centre um, but apart from that, we have this very special project this year, which is kind of a, a, a present we gave ourselves, uh, but also I think the audience, is we, um, two years ago, we started asking uh, 25 composers to make a, a small piece of music for us, uh, to uh, maximum of two minutes. Um, and that, was, that music was recorded last summer by the Brussels Philharmonic. 
uh, orchestra and um, uh, once we got the, the the compositions and the the performed compositions we asked 25 directors film directors to to be inspired by the music to choose one of these uh, compositions without knowing who was the composer um, and to, to, to let themselves be inspired by this music and to create a short film uh, um, based on the music. And um, I think we can say that um, amongst the composers, but also amongst the directors, we really have a, a, a very fine selection of art house uh, names. Among them are um, Terence Davis, we have Nomi Kawase, we have Jia Janke, we have Bigan, uh, Anthony Chen, uh, but also Belgian directors, of course, uh, young ones and, and more established directors. So it's a very nice mix of, of people from all over the world. Um, who made very di a very diverse selection of short films? It's 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 a uh, we're very proud of uh, of the selection and of the films that uh, that was made that were made. I take the, the the main responsibility for the program, but of course I don't do this, the the selection all by myself. I have a, um, a very close collaborator here at the office, who is Michiel Filipartz, whose main responsibility is the short film selection, but he's also involved in feature film selection. Uh, the general director of the festival, Mareke, also watches a lot of film. And apart from that, we have. Um, a pre-selection and a selection committee uh, of people f who are not um, um, here at the office, who work from home, watch a lot of films throughout the year, give us a lot of tips. Um, and from all these films, I think this year it was about um, 1,000 400 I think uh, titles uh, shorts and and feature films together that we've that we watched uh, all together um, and from these from this selection we uh, selected to 114 feature films that are in the program um, how do we go ahead for the we, we don't really have a list of, of criteria that a film should have to be selected in the festival it's a um, um, there is one, you know, we, we, we always ask Belgian premiere of the films, so films that have been released already will not be part of the program. Um, new films, at least. In the retrospective, of course, it's a different thing. Um, um, and apart from that, I would say that the, the, the main competition are really the films that we really care a lot about. It's um, also... We try to have it a, a, a diverse from um, distributed, non-distributed, um, various genres. We have uh, feature films, fiction feature films. We also have a documentary. We have an animated film in the competition. And one of the criteria there might be that uh, the soundtrack in some kind of way um, uh, was... Um, or was a remarkable soundtrack, you know, and um, because one of the awards that we distribute or that we ask the jury to distribute is the Georges Delru Award uh, for best music, original music, or uh, existing the use of existing music or sound design. Uh, and then the retrospective section, we have an, uh, the, the former artistic director of the festival, uh, Patrick Dunslag, who used to be a film critic in Belgium here, um, and who was the artistic director, I think, for about, um, um, yeah, I would say he started 2011 and he left in 19. Um, and um, he's really the encyclopedia of... Um, uh, the film encyclopedia, walking film encyclopedia, and um, so he is the one who um, who each year chooses the film for this uh, retrospective section or the theme, the theme of the of the section. Um, and this year um, we decided to focus obviously on the on the anniversary of the festival, the fifty years. Um, and so what we did is we gave Patrick the the whole database of the more than I think it's about six thousand feature films that were presented throughout the years uh, at the festival uh, gave it to him and let him choose and let him go through the the various titles and see how, what program he could make and what he tried to do is um to, to find the, the remarkable uh, titles that have premiered here in, in at the festival in, in previous editions um and choose one from each 
country to represent that country. For example, he chose um, a home by Finn Troch, a Belgian filmmaker, to be a bit uh, the, the, the representative for the Belgian cinema here at the, at the festival. Um, and um, so he, we ended up with a program of, uh, I think it's 16 films. Uh, and of course, it was a very difficult um, selection to make from uh, out of these more than, well, more than 5,800 titles. We always ask Belgian premiere. We don't go for world premieres or international premieres. A lot of festivals do. Um, uh, we could also make a program with international premieres, but I have the, f the feeling that this would not help the quality of the selection. And so what we decided is we'll ask for uh, the Belgian premiere and see... Uh, um, um, that we have a diverse program, you know, uh, with the with the correct gender balance, which is still not always that easy. But of course, we we try to do it uh, uh, as much as possible, um, and also from diverse regions and stuff like that. So, and we we had seen um, poor things before it uh, uh, ended up winning the gold line. Um, uh, but I think otherwise as well, it would have been in the selection. It's an it's an amazing film with an amazing sound design and music. So it's it's definitely a film that that should be in this selection. I think we can say that we are the 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 largest uh, and most important uh, Belgian film festival. There are quite a few others, but um, ours is the the largest general film festival. I, I have to say, because otherwise, other the other festivals are more uh, specific, focused on a on a certain genre or. Um, uh, like for example the Namur Film Festival which only presents uh, French speaking films or or Jeff who's youth film or Move who's world cinema um, so we are a general uh, uh, festival meaning that we present uh, films in all various genres uh, shorts uh, feature films documentaries animated films um, and yes, we try to be the the launching pad for a lot of um, launching platform for for a lot of films that uh, are premiered here at the festival, and that are to be released after the festival. But also for a lot of um, for the local filmmakers, uh, filmmakers local, um, but all, also local music uh, talent. Um, we try to be the the launching platform. Um, and uh, I think we have also for that, we have a nice tr track record, if I can say so. Uh, Lucas Dont was here. He won with his short films and he premiered here with his two um, feature films. Uh, Finn Troch was here with her shorts and she also um, presented uh, the four um, feature films in the program. And on this year, our, our fifth film was the opening title of the festival. And I think we can say that um, we try to make the difference for, for these films and for these filmmakers, yes. Thank you, if you have something to add. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> do I have something to add? Um, well, we also have a lot of industry events. Um, that's also uh, one of the things that we are really keen on, on having at the festival because we are obviously mainly focused on the towards the, the general audience uh, that we try that we hope to attract to the festival but apart from that as i said before we since we also want to be this this launching platform for for filmmakers uh, especially the local filmmakers we also want to um, uh, we also organize a lot of uh, industry events, um, uh, panel talks, master classes um, throughout the festival, but mainly towards the end where we have the film music, uh, the World Soundtrack Awards Film Music Days, um, which is a, a, a bunch of uh, talks and panels uh, on various subjects. Uh, this year we'll have a, a talk on the impact of streamers on the the, uh, the métier of the composer. Uh, we'll have have a director's talk, a composer's talk with um, Aiko Ishibashi, who is a Japanese composer who works with uh, um, Hamaguchi. Um, the, she made the music for his film Drive My Car, for which he won the Oscar. She was here last year where she won the Discovery Award uh, for this music. 
And, um, and this year she will be coming back for two projects. One is a special um, a world premiere um, uh, of a special version of Hamaguchi's new film, Evil Does Not Exist. It has another title, it's called Gift. It's, um, uh, it's a, I would say it's a silent version of Evil Does Not Exist, uh, the film for which he won a prize in, uh, in Venice. Um, and that's about to premiere uh, the next few days here. Um, it will have the live music performed by Aiko Ishibashi herself. Um, and uh, we will also organize a talk with, between the two of them and to see how they, how they work together uh, on their, and what, what their creative partnership is about. Thank you very much. You're welcome.